Following President Huru Kenyatta's directive on the review of all legal regime in the fight against corruption in the country, a task force to implement the directive has swung into action. The task force, chaired by Attorney General Gidi Muigai, will in particular review the strength of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission in the fight against corruption and will explore the possibility of extending prosecutorial powers to the commission. The question whether the Anti-Corruption Commission should have power to prosecute is one we have debated for several years. It is on the table. According to Professor Muigai, a coordinated relationship between the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions and the anti-corruption body might have contributed to the minimal prosecution of corrupt related cases. The commission says, we have investigated, we have sent to DPP. DPP, uh, we are waiting for him. And DPP says, they have investigated, but it is a very short job and I have sent it back to them, and so on. We want to ask ourselves, is that relationship working for both institutions? The task force which is expected to submit its recommendations in the next one month will also review the organizational structure of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission that has seen endless leadership wrangles at the commission. Is the current structure of the commission the correct one? At one point, we created the commission in the image of other commissions, where we created chairman, then we created a CEO, then we created a power relationship that has had its own difficulties. That question, whether that is the correct structure, is on the table. And I'm glad you have mentioned ethics and that corruption. Maybe we need to look at the structure. The structure might not be working. Um, in the interests of fighting corruption. The development comes less than a fortnight after the anti-corruption body exposed more than 170 state officers suspected to be involved in corruption. The list of those implicated in corruption and some who have stepped aside is currently before parliament. Samson Kitavi, Channel 1 News.